Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can fix the windows store uh, in windows 10 now if you're having issues with the windows store which is what you can see here uh, i.e whether you're getting navigation problems or downloading problems or it's not opening or anything like that or maybe when you go to download it starts to initiate the download and then it um, gets stuck and it doesn't start to download the file uh, all these are pretty common and uh, I'm going to show you how you can get around and fix these issues. So first off, let's go to the start button, right click on this and go to uh, command prompt with admin. Click yes on the user account control and once this is open, I want you to type this command in there. And what this is going to do is uh, clear the cache. It's called WS reset, all one word, dot exe. Now once you've done that, what that's going to do is clear out all the cache for the uh, Windows Store and hopefully this can rectify a lot of common issues. And uh, what will happen is you will get a black prompt box pop up and the uh, Windows Store will reopen and a lot of the old cache files have been deleted so this can sometimes fix a lot of those download issues. Now if this doesn't fix your issue, we'll move on to another thing that you can try okay now there is an actual troubleshooter pack that you can download uh, from Microsoft itself and uh, with this tool it will fix a lot of Windows Store issues it's dedicated for the Windows Store I'll show you the uh, website where you can get it from it's on Microsoft it's called run the troubleshooter for Windows apps and basically it fix a lot of those issues but just click on the run troubleshooter save as and save it to your desktop I've already done it but you can just save it there and then all you need to do is once that's downloaded run this now you might need to sign into your account uh, but basically just click on this and run it and it will try to uh, scan your system and find issues you can see here troubleshoot to help prevent computer problems at Windows Store apps you can click on the advanced here once you click on the advanced you'll see it will say apply repairs automatically and then just click next it will start to try and detect problems if it finds them it will fix them it will ask you to log into your Microsoft account you can open up those settings and log in it's pretty straightforward to do if you click uh, open up account settings here it will allow you to log in just sign in there and once you've done that push next now I've not got a, an account here because this is just a virtual machine but you'll see Microsoft account is required and then you can close this off and that should resolve a lot of your issues now another one that you've got is PowerShell come down to the search box and type PowerShell open up PowerShell now you want to run this as administrator so right click on this and run this as administrator to open up the PowerShell prompt box say yes to the use account control now this command is a bit of a hefty one so I will put these in the description uh, just post these uh, into there or paste them into there I should say and uh, push enter and this should uh, rectify uh, those problems now there is another one that you can use for command prompt uh, it does the same thing but I'll show you what it looks like in command prompt as well it's a slightly different uh, code but I'll put them both in there so you can use which one you want so open command prompt with admin, say yes to the user account control and then just paste that one in there as well as you can see here. You don't need to do both of them, you can just do one of them and then push enter and you will see it will start to do its repair. Close it off and you should now be back up and running with your Windows Store. That should have fixed all your issues. Anyway, so I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button or hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers head over to the forums or maybe you just want to join the community that's the place to be. Anyway thanks again for watching, bye for now.